Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Barakahakwadash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim, out there, pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you, brothers, endure unto the end. This is the brother Raya coming at you with another lesson, and I'm going to start it off in Romans chapter 3, verses 3 to 4. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Most High forbid. Yeah, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. And I opened up the video with this verse to preface an article on endtimeheadlines.org titled Bible Sales Exploding from Fears of Global Unrest and Political Uncertainty. And you always see these things take place. You saw it take place after 911. You're seeing it take place right now. And, uh, you know, after a lot of major events take place, you see an uptick in Bible sales. And why is that? Because deep down, people in their spirits know that the Bible truly is the word of God, but they just don't want to admit to it. They want to continue to live, you know, their wicked lives and disregard the Bible in any which way they can. But when the chips are down and people get scared, where do they go to the Bible? So. That's why I opened it up with that Romans 3, 3 to 4. For what if some did not believe? Shall that make the, the word of the Most High, the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Because just because you don't believe doesn't mean that these prophecies aren't going to come to pass. And hey, again, to those that don't believe when the chips are down and they've got nowhere to turn to, where do they turn to? The Bible but that's not going to save you. Contrary to popular belief, just because you believe in sweet baby back Jesus doesn't mean that you're uh, saved. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel. The nation of Israel consisting of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But right now, it's only for the elect of the nation of Israel. For the wicked of our people, especially two thirds in the United States of America. And, you know, just you heathens in general, horrific judgment that you cannot escape is coming your way because we are coming into the times of Jacob's trouble, which when you read about in Jeremiah 30, verse seven and uh, Daniel 12, verse one, it's going to be the worst time in human history, worse than any other point or uh, that you can think of. So it would behoove you Israelites out there that have come across the word and it's resonating with your spirit to, you know, be fully invested in the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai now more than ever, because we are clearly in the last days, really the last seconds of the last days. 2024 has been a crazy year and it's been labeled the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And hey, going into 2025. We know it's going to be even more intense. Hey, that could very well be the year of the salvation. But, you know, whether it's 2024, 2026 or whatever, we know that our salvation is near than when we believed. So you don't want to be caught out here without that protective hedge of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai over you. Get Revelation 3, I'm going to read verses 15 to 16. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou wert cold or hot. Like I just said to you Israelites that know of this word, it would behoove you to be fully hot for this truth, doing whatever you can to please your power. Because if you're lukewarm, <laughs> you're wavering, the Most High is not going to protect you in that day. Verse 16, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, hey, either be fully hot for this word, 
you know, just go back, go be cold and be back in the world. At least you can enjoy, you know, your wickedness that you want to indulge in that you're that's keeping you back from fully investing in the truth. So then because thou art lukewarm, you're half stepping, you're half in the world, you're, uh, you know, half in the truth. I will spew thee out of my mouth. And that's straight from you, Habashai, because you're not fully invested in the word. And, you know, it's even worse if you're half stepping, you're being a hypocrite. You're going to get spewed out of the mouth of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and take place on this judgment that's about to take place on all these other people out here that are scrambling because they see times are bad to get a Bible and try to find salvation. But the only thing they're going to find is damnation. But let's get to this article. Worries about the economy, conflicts abroad, and uncertainty over the election pushed readers towards the publication in droves. Bible sales are up 22% in the U.S. through the end of October, compared with the same period last year, according to book tracker Circana Bookscan. By contrast, total U.S. print book sales were up less than 1% in that period. People are experiencing anxiety themselves or they're worried for their children and grandchildren, said Jeff Crosby, president of the Evangelical Christian Publishers Association. It's related to artificial intelligence, hey, which is going to play a major part in the M-A-R-K-O-F-T-H-E-B-E-A-S-T in Revelation 13 verses 16 to 18, which is the RFID slash NFC C-HIP implant. And who does DJ Donald Trump have in his uh, administration? Elon Musk, who's known for that Neuralink, the Neuralace, you know, that mark in the forehead. And Trump also said that he wants a. Uh, he wants to be he wants America to be the leader in Bitcoin, which is what cryptocurrencies and digital currencies. So Trump is all in on pushing towards that cashless digital society. Our election cycles and all of that feeds a desire for assurance that we're going to be OK, which if you're not an Israelite, you know, first and foremost, especially if you're not an Israelite of the elect, times are not going to be OK for you. Times are going to be the exact opposite. And even when you read the scriptures, you know, there are comforting words, you know, for the elect and for the nation of Israel in them. But what we understand that before we get to the kingdom, we got to go through Jacob's trouble again, a time worse than any other point in human history. But this is Ezekiel chapter two. I'm going to read verses nine to ten. And when I looked, behold, an hand was sent unto me and lo, a roll of a book was therein the scriptures and he spread it before me and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. It wasn't written that everything's going to be OK, you know, assurances and goodwill, lamentations, mourning and woe. Because Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is about to judge this planet and all you wicked people in it, especially in the United States of America for these uh, lies of iniquity you've been living Selly Vasquez, you know, that sounds like a, uh, a northern kingdom or so-called Latino name, a 28 year old artist and influencer who has appeared on the reality TV show Love Island USA recently bought her first Bible, one from the She Reads Truth line. What is that? What is the She Reads Truth line at Barnes and Noble? I have read Bibles that my mom gave me. But I felt I needed my own to start my own journey, that it symbolized I was starting a walk with God. She said, I felt something was missing. It's a combination of where we are in the world, general anxiety, and the sense that meaning and comfort can be found in the Bible. <laughs> but why now? She just said her mom had been giving her Bibles, you know, throughout her life. 
But now that what you can start to see these prophecies come to pass and that things aren't going to get better, that now all of a sudden you want to pick up the Bible and be saved. That is not how this works. Bethany Martin, manager of the Faith and Life bookstore in Newton, Kansas, said she is selling to lots of first time Bible buyers. They're looking for hope with the world that the way it is and the Bible is what they're reaching for. She said, hey, for what if some did not believe hey, the, the word of the most high shall stand and everybody shall be found a liar. People are seeing that all these these things that they believed in and scoffed at the Bible over. Hey, it's not giving them the answers they're looking for. So now, like I said earlier, in their spirit, you know, people know that the Bible is the word of God. They're trying to come and find answers. But for the majority of you, those answers you're going to find is that lamentations, mourning and woe. And hey, this is a spirit. I wish I could put it on the video, but, uh, you know, I'm parked. I'm parked uh, by an area called the seawall. And uh, they got some graffiti on the seawall. And one of them's that uh, the pentagram saying, Hail Satan. <laughs> Other uh, Faith and Life's website offers from more than 270 Bibles, including a $95 leather bound giant print option and a 7.99 pocket size New Testament. Others sell graphic novel Bibles, reference Bibles in a rainbow of color options, versions intended specifically for men and teens. What, what does that mean? And early readers, audio books, and even one bound in goatskin priced at $832.50. And you know what the, the Bible you should be concerned with getting right now is a uh, King James version you know, that's the closest, the closest you're going to get to, you know, the uh, original translations in the English language. But, you know, they got all these other different versions out here for the it's her choice line or whatever that was called. You know, Bible specifically for men and teens, all these other things. It reminds me of a couple of years ago. I was watching. A, a YouTube channel called the scariest movie ever. I don't even know if that channel's still up, but you know, he was a bugged out Christian talking about end times things and a Moabite, a so-called Chinese person, you know, called into his channel and said, Oh, I finally, you know, opened up to, uh, I, 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 you know, I, I accepted the word of Jesus. And, you know, she was crying on the phone talking about how she's been saved and then she said, you know, I got a Bible with uh, the Chinese Zodiac in it. Just complete fucking madness. Again, you know, Revelation 3, you know, either be cold or hot. Do not be lukewarm. If you're an Israelite that has come across this truth, a hey, be fully invested in it. Don't be marrying the scriptures with anything else out here because anything less a hey, leads to, you know, your, your judgment. In March, President-elect Donald Trump endorsed the God Bless the USA Bible, which I believe has a uh, the the amendments and the Constitution in it, which, you know, <laughs> another thing. You, that's a that's a heathen system that was set up by these Edomites. You can't marry, you know, something outside of the Bible with the Bible. So another cut there which sells online for $59.99 and isn't included in the Circana book scan figures. Oklahoma's education department recently purchased more than 500 of those Bibles for local schools, the Tulsa World reported, referencing copies of purchase orders. Slakia. The demand for Bibles is rising. Now listen to this. The demand for Bibles is rising despite evidence that the country is growing incre increasingly secularized, which means what? You know, you're, you're non-religious. 
The Pew Research Center found that about 28% of adults in the U.S. now consider themselves religiously unaffiliated, yet Bible sales rose to 14.2 million in 2023 from 9.7 million in 2019 and hit 13.7 million in the first 10 months of this year. So again, for what if some did not believe, shall the unbelief make their faith faith of the most high without effect? So you've got increasing, you know, secularization in the United States of America. But when things get bad, what? Bible sales increase, showing that you people out here are full of shit and hypocrites. Most high forbid. Yeah, let the most high be true, but every man a liar, which is coming to be seen, you know, when the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is on you to understand these scriptures, you can see that everything else outside of the scriptures is lies and, you know, uh, deceptions out here, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. And, you know, we are justified in the sayings and the faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And even these average everyday people out here that what? say that they uh you know i'm agnostic i'm an atheist i don't believe in the bible as things get worse what even they're seeing the bullshit they believed in is not holding weight and as we get more deeper into jacob's trouble and these great judgments and death really start taking place hey you're gonna have a lot of converts and believers out here trying to go to the bible for answers but won't be able to find a goddamn thing But that lamentations, mournings, and woe. Readers are also stocking up on related titles that provide guidance, insights, and context, even sets of stickers to flag particularly meaningful passages, sales of other holy books, such as the Hebrew Bible, the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita are included in the broader categories and aren't broken out separately by Circana book scan. <laughs> so with this website, you got the Bible that you can get, but then they'll, you know, relate it to, oh, here's some other religious uh, and spiritual texts that you might be able to find answers from. Hey, causing people to be lukewarm out here. You know, I bet you got a lot of Israelites out there, you know. And a, and a lot of you have heard the word by this point in, in some form or another. You, you want to want to get the Bible to find answers, but you don't want to fully invest in it. You still want to try to find some other way out, because when you come under Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, it comes with that discipline. It comes with truly cutting yourself off from the world. And for the majority of our people, hey, that's too big of a pill to swallow. But that's it with this article. Now I'm going to go to Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read the Bible, the Old and the New Testament, as well as the Apocrypha, which is a part of the Old Testament, which, you know, if you get the 1611 King James, the Apocrypha is included in it. But, you know, the 1611 is written in that Old English. So you can just get a, a regular King James and, you know, an, a regular Apocrypha to go with it. No one of these shall fail. These prophecies, these sayings, anything. If you want 100% truth on what took place in the past, what's currently taking place, and what's about to take place, hey, you go to the book of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, not the Baga, Bhagavad Gita, the Holy Quran, you know, the, uh, what is it? The Tibetan Book of the Dead, the Emerald Tablets, and in this other uh, madness out here. None shall want her mate again, meaning there is no other book, scroll, scribe, text, philosophy, religion, you name it, that can compare to the accuracy of the scriptures. For my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them. And like I've been saying all throughout the video, as we get closer and closer to all hell breaking loose during Jacob's trouble and these prophecies get to the point to where you can't deny their validity. You're going to see more and more people cast off the the things that they th thought to be true and try to cleave unto the scriptures. 
This is Jeremiah chapter 16. I'm going to read verses 17 to 19. And you know, this is talking about the Israelites. But hey, you uh, heathens, and you're going to see that all those things that you uh, grew up with thinking to be the truth was just false. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. You know, you Israelites, that what? You know, whether you identify as an Israelite or not, hey, you're, you're, you're lukewarm, you're cold, and you're wicked. You don't want to get right. You want to find another way in. And first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Because they have defiled my land, they have filled mine inheritance with carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. And again, you know, it's talking about the Israelites. You know, when we were in the Holy Land, you know, the northern and the southern kingdom went off by following after different idols. And what? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai cast them out of that land. But now you've got those Amalekite Edomites calling themselves the children of the Most High over there. Those 1948ers. You've got those uh, Palestinian Arabs or Ishmaelites following Islam over there. You've got a bunch of other nations of people over there. And what are they doing? Hey, setting up detestable things and false gods and idols. So what do you think is going to happen to them? Judgment and getting cast out of the land. Oh, Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the times of Jacob's trouble, which is going to be worse than any other point in human history. But as it also says, but he shall be saved out of it. The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the end of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. You know, you're going to have Israelites waking up and realizing that the ways they inherited from their fathers, you know, their parents was lies. And they're going to come back to the truth, you know, the elect. And then, you know, <laughs> these heathens, hey, they're seeing that everything they inherited was bullshit. And what? They're, they're looking to the Bible for answers. But ultimately in the kingdom, when the kingdom of heaven is established, as it says in Micah chapter 4, verses 1 to 3, all the nations shall flow on to the mountain of the house of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, the government of the nation of Israel, you know, the kingdom of heaven. And they shall go and say, you know, we will learn of the ways they shall go unto Zion and say, you know, let us learn of the ways of Jacob. You know, the law, statutes and commandments, because the ways of their forefathers were lies and untruth. But now I'm going to close it out in Isaiah chapter two. I'm going to read verses 11 to 12. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled. And the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. And what we just read from that article with bad times getting, you know, bad times coming, and an uptick in Bible sales, that's a preview of the proud and lofty looks of these people being brought low. And Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai being exalted in that day. But, uh, you know, that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope your sincere Akiam and Akwath were edified. You know, one more thing. And even more so, shall the proud and lofty looks of these people be brought down low when these judgments, you know, are taking place right before their very eyes. And hey, they're the stars of these judgments that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is bringing. But again, I hope that this was an edifying video to you sincere Akim and Akwat out there. And hey, don't be cold. Don't be lukewarm. Be completely hot for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai so you can have that protective hedge over you during Jacob's trouble and be saved from all these calamities which are quickly coming down the pipeline. And again, as always, I'm a, you know, 
give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim, out there. Shalom.